guys, Humble Fishing here with another video. Today we're out in Eureka on the docks and we're gonna try for some sharks, some perch maybe, and just whatever we catch. So Okay, so our rig out here, it's a one ounce weight and then just now a three out hook with shrimp and then another with shrimp and then a swivel. And so we just tie these on. I made about four of them before, so if we lose any we can just tie them straight on again. And so we'll see if we get anything. Whoa, that rod's going off. Nice red tail right here, boys. Ah, let me see. So we thought we had a shark that was biting our bait, but this huge red tail right here, I don't know, he was just on it for a while and then it turns out we hooked him. So we're gonna measure him on the camera right here. We're probably gonna end up keeping this guy. Probably do a catch and cook. Yeah. Look at that in my hand. Okay. It's probably like 13 up. inches. Yeah, about 13, yeah. Cool. Nice fish, guys. Okay, so we're gonna Stringer. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we're gonna put on the stringer and keep it fresh. Okay, guys, so for this recipe, we have the perch, uh, probably a 13 inch red tail, uh, caught in Old Town Eureka. We got asparagus, we're just gonna use this half of it. You have lime, squash, quinoa, which is actually cooking right now, uh, onion and herb, black pepper, this sauce right here, this stuff's great, grandma's sauce. And some salt. So I'll get back to you guys when it's all chopped up and ready to go. Okay, so here's the asparagus, here's the squash. Today we're gonna be using this little wok looking thing. I don't know what it is, but it's good metal. Uh, it doesn't scratch and it's uh, non stick. Olive oil. Turn the heat on. Medium. Okay. Up and soften the cauliflower and the squash. Okay. Okay. 
So it's nice steamed up. Added that stuff. And now it's ready to put it on the quinoa. Once the oven's preheated, we'll get the fish in. Okay, so in this bowl right here, put some honey. I'm not sure how much, but that looks good. Okay. And some soy sauce. Okay. And I'm also going to put this garlic in here. And it's just a little mini quick marinade for the perch. Here it is before it goes in the oven. Okay, so all the ingredients are in, so I'm going to mix this around a little bit. Going for an Asian style dinner tonight. I have a miso over there, and as you can tell, because, well, I didn't really have rice, so I used quinoa, but it's pretty close, so, uh, like a stir fry with, with perch, and this Asian marinade. There's one filet, there's two. Okay, so here's the baking sheet. I'm gonna add some olive oil so it won't stick. Okay, and the fish is ready to put onto there, so we'll do that as well. Here's one fly. As you can see, I took the pin bones out right there because it's a hassle to get them while you're chewing. I'm trying to chew. Okay, it's ready for the oven. Right in. So I'm going to set this for 10 minutes and check it every 5 probably and then we'll get back to you when it's done. Okay, so this fish is totally ready now, nice and flaky. Uh, so the sugar of course is a little burnt but that's okay because how it is, it's not the fish actually itself is not burnt. So looks great, get onto the plate. Okay so here is the quinoa. The asparagus, squash, cauliflower, the perch, the lime, and the miso soup. So, I'm going to taste it. Hey guys, back at the lab. Here it is. Wonderful looking perch and stuff in my miso soup. And of course the milk. So, I'm going to put some of this... Grandma's sweet chili sauce onto the perch. I know this stuff is good, so use it generously. Okay, so first little piece. Oh, by the way, this fish is usually the mushiest fish you could possibly eat. So I'm gonna see if I made it not mushy. Mmm, it's great. So it's actually, this is the first time ever I've made it that it's not mushy at all. See, it's all flaky, and that's actually amazing. So, this fish for me now is definitely worth keeping and eating, because this is amazing. Um, this recipe I just made by myself, I just, off the top of my head, um, and it goes great with rice if you have it, but I didn't have it this time, and all this other stuff that I added in. So, thanks for watching. I'm going to eat this now.